Hello, Uggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. In fact, episode number 621. Uh, today's question comes from uh, Bill uh, Peachman, W8LV, and he has a question. Setting aside the Tower of Babel, the digital modes are, why don't we see any handhelds with AM slash SSB besides FM as modes for UHF and VHF? Would be great for DX and satellite, etc. 73 from uh, Bill, W8LV. Before we answer his question, let me just remind you that Google absolutely loves it. If you'll click subscribe, it helps feed the algorithm. And plus, uh, if you also click the bell, you can get notification of future videos. To look at Bill's question here, uh, the question is, what are we trying to pack in to something like this? Okay, uh, this is an FM and a DMR radio. And so it's got, uh, you know, an oscillator, the ability to generate the carrier at uh, certain frequencies that can modulate them using FM modulation and so on. Now, let me show you a radio that is capable of FM on HF or six meters, okay? And a, a single sideband CW and AM and digital, okay? Notice how much bigger it is. That's because there's a lot more circuitry involved than uh, just an FM radio. Now, there is a company that made little HF handy talkies before that were a single sideband. Uh, the product failed uh, because of uh, low quality and low power, too low a power. And trying to use a simple whip antenna didn't work well. But your question has to do with a single sideband and CW and so on at VHF, UHF. Now there are radios that do that. Let's look at the um, ICOM. We'll come over here and look at the screen, and we'll go to ICOM, America, Come. okay, now we're looking here at uh, amateur radios, okay, here's the 9700. This 9700 radio, which is the same size as the uh, ICOM over here, um, works on three bands. Uh, the three bands are 2 meters, 70 centimeters, and 23 centimeters. And you have to buy an extra little uh, module for the 23 centimeters. Okay, this has all the modes. CWAM, single sideband, FM, RIDI, uh, D-STAR, digital voice, and DD modes. Digital data provides 128 kilobit per second data communications. It'll go up to 100 watts and so on. This is the radio that you're talking about. Now you're saying, why don't we just make it uh, 5 watts or 10 watts? Well, you know that the mobiles of the VHF radios are starting to push 80 watts. So they're getting about as much as this. But you note know, this comes in a fairly big box. Um, now, some radios will do a little of both, like the ICOM uh, 7100, okay, multiband all mode. It goes all the way up to include uh, 2 meters and 70 centimeters, okay. It will do 100 watts on HF and 6 meters, 50 watts on 2 meters, 35 watts on uh, 430, 440. This is also an all-mode radio, okay, on all of those bands. The giveaway for the month of January um, 2022 
Uh, and this, your entry must be in by the fourth, I'm sorry, last Thursday of the month, because that's when I do a live stream. This is one of those little emergency radios where you can hand crank it, okay, like this. And uh, it's got a little solar thing, so you can leave it in the sun. It's got a flashlight uh, that uh, makes a little light. Um, you can put in um, here to, uh, if you want, to put a, a, use this to charge your phone um, or to put music into, play music from memory cards or something. This is power on and off. A little volume control there. And a switch down here in the bottom. This thing comes with its little case. It comes with a um, USB uh, port that can be used in a variety of ways. And it comes with instructions. So this is our giveaway for uh, the month of, no of January 2021. And we will give that away. Now, let's talk about how you enter. You send uh, to me via snail mail to Dave Kassler, KE0OG, PO Box 98, Ridgeway, Colorado, 81432. And you put the giveaway number on there, which is number six. And um, your shipping address to which you would like it shipped, your name and call sign, and your phone number. And that way I can call you if I've got any questions interpreting your card. So you're absolutely correct that such a radio would be very great for DX and satellite. Okay. But the fact of the matter is this little handheld is a very highly condensed radio that will transmit one type of modulation. It uses a Class C amplifier because it doesn't need to be linear for FM. Uh, in a radio that will work, this will go up to six meters, it's companion to 23 centimeters. Um, the problem with that is they're bigger. Okay, they're bigger. And people who like to do two meter single sideband or 70 centimeter amateur television or something like that need specialized electronics to do it. In other words, it just won't fit inside there, at least with uh, today's uh, current specifications. This has a very big screen on it because it has on the screen all of the uh, many different things that you need to be looking at when you're running HF, okay? Whereas if you're running FM, you just need a channel number and that's about it. Uh, so there you have it. It's a matter of size. It's a matter of difficulty of putting in the end. Also, it's a matter of supply and demand those who want to do what's called weak signal work, which is everything other than FM, often will have to pay a more, a lot more, for a radio that does them all. Okay, so you can buy two kinds of radios. You can buy like that uh, ICOM uh, uh, C9700, okay, which looks just like this one except it's on different bands. Or you can get one of the so-called DC light radios and do it that way. But they're just not done in handhelds. Nobody's been able to figure out how to get it all in there and get it in a way that you can use properly. Because unlike FM, you just go to the channel with the memory. On a single sideband, you, you need to tune. You need to tune everything very carefully so that it works. Okay, I hope that helps answer the question. And uh, so there you have it. And until we next meet, 73.